Woo, wow, 210 Boxing TV, what a fight. Man, what a night. So Canelo Alvarez loses unanimous decision, 115-113 on all three scorecards. Uh, Dimitri Bilvo puts on a virtuoso performance, legendary performance, um, beating the great Canelo Alvarez by a wide unanimous decision. Um, the scores were a lot closer, but... Uh, from everyone, pretty much that watched it, they had it 117-111 or 118-110. I was very impressed with uh, Bivol. He was boxing. He was using the range. He was able to get in, get out. He had the drop on Canelo from from the get. And Canelo, it seemed like he was strong. And, yeah, he did the whole thing. Like, I'm going to, you know, land on your arms, land on your shoulders. But Canelo was never landing anything clean. And Bivol was able to st take his power. And the one thing they always say there's weight classes for a reason. I always try telling people that there's weight classes for a reason in boxing. And Bavo showed that Canelo does not belong at 175. And he's going to move back down to 168. But wow, um, I'm totally impressed with Bavo. I think this shows that a lot of people, they were overhyping Canelo. Saying that he's the greatest Mexican ever. Saying that he's the GOAT. Compared to saying that he's better than Ali, Floyd, this and that. And it's like we live too much in the moment. Canelo's beat some good guys, but he didn't beat no one that made you say, oh, my God, damn, like, I can't believe he beat that guy. Like, it just, it, 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 that didn't, that never happened. And Bivol showed that Canelo has a lot of limitations in there. Canelo's strong, but he's still slow at foot. Really can't cut the ring off that well. And, I mean, he just really couldn't do anything with Bivol. Again, it was a virtuoso, 100%. Master class by Bavo. I mean, he couldn't have boxed a better fight. 115, 113, that was the judges trying to make it seem like it was a close fight when it wasn't. Like I said, this was a 117, 111, 118, 110, maybe even like a 119, uh, 108 type fight for, for Bavo. And I'm, again, I'm just very impressed with Bavo. Um, who does, where does this go from here? Does Canelo move back down to 168? Does he still fight Triple G? Uh, I heard that, you know, he wants to do the rematch with Bavo, but. I feel like Bavo beats him even wider the second fight. Bavo came very close at the end to knocking him down. And I just think there's no reason for a rematch. Um, this fight really wasn't close at all. And it would just be worse for Canelo in the second fight. Tell me what you think. Let me know if y'all guys saw this. Um, I just think after this fight, the whole Mexican goat for Canelo talk has to end. Like, that shit's over. We, like... It was highly disrespectful to the legends like Eric Morales, like like Barrera to, to like Marquez to say that. Like it was for me, it was highly disrespectful to say that because it takes more than a one two to get to get past those guys. And tonight Canelo showed that he he couldn't deal with Bavol and Bavol just he, he made it easy. He just he used his fundamentals and he just boxed. Clearly a master class. 210 Boxing TV. Let me know what you think of, of the fight in the comments. And where does where do both guys go from here? Does Bavo now now fight maybe Benavides? Um I mean, does Bavo fight the winner of uh Beater Beef and Smith? That would be, you know, that could be for for undisputed down the line. See how it goes. Let me know what y'all think, 210 Boxing TV.